out of Taiwan after so many years last time I went out that was in 2020 January when I went to India and Nepal but after that because of the pandemic and all the things going on it was just madness waiting and waiting and we really didn't know I think everybody was really struggling and guessing when was the when would be the next time that we could travel and here I am I'm in the Philippines right now uh, I wish I could not take this but I think uh, I'll just keep it for safety reasons. In this occasion, I'm going back home. I'm going to El Salvador. Um, and in this time, I'm flying from Taipei to Manila, and then from Manila to Los Angeles. Then in Los Angeles, I will spend one day, and then finally, I'll go to my country. It's crazy. Every time you travel from Asia, from the Pacific, Asia, and then to Los Angeles or anything on the western seaboard of America, it's crazy how the time really goes back. So I'm gonna depart here at around 9 p.m., but I'm gonna arrive there at 7 p.m. of the same day. So it's crazy, I love it. The journey of the airport was a bit uh, rushed, but I think that's what happens with uh, any morning flights, honestly. Uh, it was enough to be there just a few hours couple of hours before for international flights so that was uh, pretty okay uh, because I'm doing a transfer I didn't have to comply with any of the regulations of the Philippines or fill any forms or any local COVID uh, precautions that they have here so I'm stuck in this airport I need to say that the US is also getting very very um, loose or not so demanding and uh, strict with the COVID regulations so I think it was pretty okay just to um, check the website and then they just ask you to have your vaccination card uh, on check and even that is pretty uh, I would say loose and really relaxed I don't think that's uh, a big deal as, as, as long as you're vaccinated then you're good to go airport vibes uh, a lot of fear I think for many people to just set foot on an airport uh, that's one thing the plane vibe is almost Kind of the same. Uh, the plane was nearly empty. I would say it was 30% of its capacity. A pretty short flight, less than two hours. And it was okay, pleasant flight, sunny day, clouds uh, at some point. Uh, I love to see the ocean and also to see something, uh, some part of the Philippines from the air. So that was great. Uh, the food was also nice, I think. Uh, it was beef with rice and some vegetables. All the candy that they gave me as a dessert, I need to find it. I need to find it. It was delicious. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, and then, well, I'm in Manila Airport. Nothing to see here. Uh, it feels very analog. But yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, it's a really beautiful day. It's still here in the Philippines. Uh, I came here in 2017 uh, and I can see from here downtown, at least those buildings in the downtown area. Uh, it just reminds me of the time that I was here because it was rainy so I couldn't really do much because of that. So perhaps one day I can come back because it's just a few hours from Taipei. Once everything starts opening up, uh, I might do it. So I'll try to get busy and I don't know, be productive for the 
rest of my time here. I flew on a 320 from Taipei to Manila and I'm gonna fly a 777, a 777, uh, Boeing 777 from Manila to Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll be saying something else about that later. Finally, we're boarding after a whole day in the 